Welcome back. In the last section, we talked about how we have Google.com and if we enter an IP address, we essentially get all these files from Google. So if we look back at the diagram that we had, we see here that the Google servers just send us a couple of files, which are HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Again, something that we'll cover later on. But for now, based on that knowledge, we should be able to break Google. So let's play with something. If you open up Google Chrome and you go into View, then Developer, then Developer Tools, you're going to have a screen over here that pops up. You might want to move it up and down just so you can see better. Let me just scroll this down a bit so you can see. You'll see over here that there is a little icon on the left with a pointer and a window. If you click on that and now go to the website, you'll see it selects a bunch of different things. So it's just an element selector. So let's just click on this. So when I click on this, it takes me to the part of the HTML file that essentially tells Google to put in Google search here. So based on that, we can do something fun. We can get the value over here of Google search and let's change it to Andre search. Press enter. Look at that. We have, we now just changed Google to have Andre search over here. That's very, very cool. I want you to play around with that and see what you can do. For example, if I now select this, and I'm just like, oh, I don't want this. I'm going to press the delete key and just delete it. Look at that. I can delete that. Okay, I don't like that either. I'm going to press delete on that as well. And let's see. You know what? I want the entire website. I want this entire body thing gone. Delete. Look at that. We just completely deleted Google. Now, you must be freaking out. What happened? Am I going to be sent to jail? I just deleted Google. Well, no, not really. Press enter and Google is back. Now, why is that? Well, if we go back to our diagram, we have Google servers and we were playing around with one of these files and we just modified it. We essentially just said delete, delete. So Google was gone. But when I made that request again, Google servers, no problem. We have these files. They send these files all over again back to the server. Hopefully that made sense to you. We see that the browser essentially is a tool, a piece of software that can receive files from servers and it knows how to read them so that, look at that, we get pretty Google and we can type in all the searches that we want in the world. All right, let's get to the next section where we talk about the internet backbone. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.